Oliver, could you please leave us alone? Uh, sure. No problem. Alan, what is it? I've reached a decision on how to handle the Earth situation. And? What have you decided? You are not going to like it. Before he died, Thetis told you about the Scourge virus, didn't he? <laughs> Don't. It's no longer there. Where is it? I'm sorry. This is going to get ugly. But I just couldn't do this without telling you first. I value our friendship too much. It's being loaded on a ship that I am personally going to travel to Earth in, where I will introduce the virus into the planet's atmosphere. I'm sorry. You can't do this. That virus is designed to kill Viltramites. And humans are so genetically similar, you could be killing them all. I know that. I can't let you do this. I know that too. Ready? <laughs> this is for the good of the universe. It gives every living being a chance to thrive. To step out from under the shadow your people have cast on your very existence. I won't let you stop me. The people on Earth are innocent. Have you lost your mind? Not here. We'll bring the whole building down around us. No, wait! Stop! You can't go through with this. Think about what you're saying. It's an entire planet of innocent people. How's that any different than what the Viltrumites did on Unopa? This would prevent anything like that from ever happening again. Think of the lives it would save a hundred, a thousand years from now. Countless lives saved. Eons of peace. Alan, you can't do this. How could I not? <laughs> I will beat some sense into you, my friend. Friend, you'll beat me only as much as I allow it, which ends now. I knew you'd make me do this. I knew you'd stand against me. Your time with the Viltrumite Empire has scarred you. Alan, my god! What the hell are you doing? Oliver, wait, I can explain. Just- You can explain why you're beating my father to death? Please do that, while I tear you apart. Ha! Ha! Ah! And I think you're about to see how big- Wait, why did you stop? Oh! Don't move. You are entering a restricted area. It's about time they showed up. Okay. Let me try this again, while the threat of my soldiers has you willing to listen. If I release the Scourge virus on Earth, it's not 100% certain that it will affect the human population there. It's possible, but that's it. I'm sorry, but that's a risk worth taking. If that virus can wipe out the Viltrumites once and for all, rid the universe of that threat, I have to do it. You have a virus that could kill all Viltrumites, and you want to release it on Earth? Yes, and because of our similar genetic makeup, it's very likely that it could wipe out the entire human population in the process. He's right. Let him do it. Oliver! I'm sure he'd warn Mark and let him take even a few other people he liked off-planet. Mom's already here. There's really no one else I care about. I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. You heard his side of the argument. Now hear mine. Okay, we've wasted enough time with this. Soldiers, restrain him. You are under arrest. You can't! Don't do this! Don't make me! I wasn't kidding when I said I wouldn't let you do this, Alan. You're not thinking clearly. This is the only way we win the war. Don't make me! I could never... Not after... Damn! Let him go. He's in no shape to pursue us on his own. I'm sorry. I know that was hard to see. I was trying to subdue him without hurting him too badly, but I could only hold him back so much. I, I, I get it. When this is all over, he'll see that we were right. I know it. I hope you're right, Alan. Will you accompany me to Earth? I could use your help either convincing Mark, or more likely, restraining him. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 